can you see my whiteboard yeah yeah okay so it's minus 1 what about 50 uh, sorry what about the fifth question first we have to change it, change it to minus 44 minus 92 very and good that is, mm. and that is going to be a minus 48 sorry minus 48 one second so the question let me just write the question first okay so the question is minus 44 minus plus 92 so then we changed it to minus 44 minus 92 right that's what you said yeah okay next what is the thing we have to add it we have to add it so what does it become when we add 44 and 92 Wait, I I accidentally subtract. Yeah, right. Okay. So now what will the answer be? Minus 136. Excellent. Minus 136. Very good. So now let's move on to the sixth question. So I think there's no doubt in the sixth question as well, right? So the sixth question is minus 28 minus minus 42. Yeah. So what did you do? First, we will change it to minus 28 plus 42. Yes. Okay. And, and then uh, we will get the answer as uh, positive 14. So what does it become? Answer? Positive 14. Positive 14. Yeah, that's right. 14. Very and, good. And, the, and the rest of them, I have a doubt. You have doubts. Okay. So let's move on to the seventh one, the seventh question. Yeah. So let me just write the seventh question. Then we'll discuss it. Minus 13 plus 27 minus 10. Yeah, so what, uh, till where did you arrive in this question? Uh, first, we have to uh, sub uh, subtract 27 minus 10. Okay. What does it become? Uh, that is going to be 17. So, um, mm -hmm. minus 13 uh, plus positive 17 okay then we have to subtract 17 and 13 yeah so what does it become uh positive 4 very good positive 4 all right now what about question number 8 which is 9 plus 9 uh, minus 13 plus 8. Yeah. First, we will add 13 and 8. That is going to be 21. So okay. we, that, then we have to uh, subtract positive 9 minus 21. And okay. uh, then we have to subtract 21 and 9. That is going then to be... Then what does the answer become? Hmm. Uh, for negative 12. Very good. Wow. I'm really impressed by um, how many answers you're getting correct. It's really good. Okay. Yeah, then let's move on to the ninth question. Um, so it's positive 12 minus minus 4 plus 5. First, we are going to uh, subtract five at five minus four. That okay. is going to be. Mm, that, that's going to be. Sorry. Yes, Eva, I couldn't hear you.
कैसे बा फर्स्ट वी विल सबट्रैक्ट 5 माइनस 4 या सो व्हाट डज इट बिकम दैट विल बी 1 पॉजिटिव 1 एंड देन वी विल सबट्रैक्ट पॉजिटिव 12 माइनस 1 एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी पॉजिटिव 11 very good okay so the 10th one okay so hiba you're getting all of these what what was the doubt in them i don't know i was i was just confused looking at them you were confused between i i was just confused by looking at them oh okay well you see it it was simple wasn't it yeah yeah very good okay all right so the last one Minus minus three minus fourteen. Okay. First, we will uh, add fourteen and three. That is okay. going to be seventeen. Uh, hmm. Then we will subtract minus sixteen, my uh, hmm. minus seventeen, minus seventeen. Should I write seventeen here or minus seventeen here? Minus sixteen. Minus seventeen. Hmm. Are you sure? Okay. Great. Is it correct? Just a minute. I will just help you out in this one. Okay. Okay. And and then we will get. Uh, just 30. a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Minus. So. Minus. Yeah. Just give me one more second, Hiba. I am trying to make things a little bit clearer for you. So yeah. All right. Now, in place of the red bracket, what do I write? Uh, seven seventeen. Should I write seventeen or minus seventeen? Minus se minus seventeen. Yeah, minus seventeen. So over here, there's this minus also and this minus also. Okay. Um. Now, what do I write? Minus sixteen. Plus seventeen. Very good. Next. Seventeen uh, minus sixteen, which is a one. One. Positive Excellent. one. Okay, so that means you are ready to do some real life problems. Okay, let me just pick out some real life problems. Okay, just give me a second. Yeah. My my computer is glitching. Just give me a minute. Okay, Hiba. You might wanna write this down. Um, just give me a sec. Yeah. So you might wanna write this down. Okay. Hmm. So um, so write this down. in a particular city in a particular city or i'll just write it um on the board itself uh, no you can just say sorry uh, you can just say okay i'll say all right so in a particular city the temperature was minus 5 degrees celsius on monday okay it was minus 5 degrees celsius on monday and then it dropped hmm and then it dropped by 2 degrees on tuesday okay what was the temperature on tuesday okay and then we'll do the second part of the question which is well we'll just do it later so for now we'll do this much so what does the question say first of all what is it telling you uh in a particular city uh, 
there was uh, the temperature was minus fifty degrees Celsius on Monday. Minus five. And minus the, five. Minus five degrees Celsius. Yeah, sorry, minus five degrees Celsius on Monday, mm -hmm. and then on Tuesday it dropped by two degree, and uh, we have to find the temperature on Tuesday. Okay, so what was the temperature on Tuesday? Can you take a guess? Are you understanding what the question is saying? Yeah. Okay. So let's say, um, if this is my number line, um, let me just make it like this. Yeah. The, this is my the number line. The yeah. temperature on Monday was, uh, sorry, the temperature on Tuesday was minus three degree Celsius. Yes. Excellent. Very good, Hiba. I'm so proud of you. Inshallah. Okay. So, I think I don't need to do, draw this number line anymore. <laughs> okay. So, that's great. So, um, let me just go to the second part of the question. The second part says, on Wednesday, it rose by 4 degrees Celsius. What was the temperature on Wednesday? So, what was the temperature on Wednesday? Okay. Um, the first before before we go to this, um, what was the what was the answer to the first part of the question? Minus what did you say? Uh, three degrees Celsius. Minus three degrees Celsius. Wait a minute, just a sec, just a sec. Kiba, I think there was one tiny confusion. Okay, I mean I also had that confusion. No, I didn't uh, exactly. Uh, you know, read the question properly. And this is one mistake that we make very often. And I switched two words in my head. So basically what the question says is the, the, the temperature dropped, right? It dropped by two degrees. So when a temperature drops, Heba, does it become colder or hotter? Hotter. Okay, just a minute. Let me just show you this so is sorry, colder. Colder, exactly. If this is a if this is um let me just draw it a little bit better. This is my thermometer. Okay. And let's say over here, this is zero degrees Celsius, and then it's positive one, positive two, and so on. And then negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Okay, and then let's say my thermometer is still here. Anyway, negative six, negative seven, negative eight. So if I'm saying that my temperature on a particular day was on Monday, it was minus five and then it dropped. So dropped means what? You know, it's going downwards. That's yeah. why they say dropped because thermometer is like a vertical scale, right? So if we say the temperature went up, that means it increased or that means the temperature, you know, went towards positive. It increased, basically. And when we say the temperature dropped, that, is, that means it, it went towards, yeah, it decreased, right? So, now can you tell me, if it dropped by 2 degrees, how much did it become on Tuesday? 0 degree. 0 degree. Okay. Mm, so on Monday, it is minus five. Okay. On Monday, it is minus five. Then on the next day, it dropped by two degrees. Can you tell me if you drop this by two degrees, where will you reach? Minus seven. Yeah. So on Tuesday, how much did it become? Minus seven. Is it clear, Hiba? Any doubts? Yeah. Clear, Pakka? Yeah. Okay. So on Tuesday, it was minus 7 degrees Celsius. All right. Now they are saying that on Wednesday, it rose by 4 degrees. Okay. So that doesn't mean that, you know, it became 4 degrees. However, it rose by 4 degrees. It increased by 4 degrees. So if my temperature is over, if my, te my temperature is this, it's minus seven degrees and then it rose by four degrees so can you tell me where will i go first of all will i go up or down up up how many degrees up 
uh, three minus three. Hmm. Minus how many, uh, three. How many degrees up will I go? How many units up will I go? Four. Four. Yeah. So your answer is right. You are giving the right answer that it will be minus three. So one, two, three, and four. So I have reached over here, and this is my temperature on Wednesday. Okay, so minus three degrees Celsius. Clear? Yeah. Any doubts in this one? No. No. Shall we move on to the next one then? Yeah. Okay. All right. So my next question is. So there was a there was a quiz conducted for a few students. And in that quiz, positive marks. So have you ever attempted um, an entrance test or an Olympiad, Hiba? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So have you, um, have you noted that in Olympiads, like unlike your um, school exams, in your school exams, what do, what do they do? If you get a correct answer, they just give you marks for that answer. But if you get a wrong answer, they don't cut your marks or they don't deduct your mark. You know, they don't give you negative marking. So, but in certain exams like Olympiads and uh, certain entrance exams and competitive exams, basically, what happens is they give you positive marks for correct answers. Okay. And negative marks for wrong answers. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So um, in this particular quiz that we're talking about, positive uh, marks and negative marks are given. So they haven't told us how many positive marks are there for one right answer and how many negative marks are there for one wrong answer. They haven't told us that. But they are telling us <clears throat> that if uh, there's, a, there's a guy called Jack, if his scores in five successive rounds, if his scores were five successive rounds, I'm do sorry. I have to write this? Um, no, you don't have to write the whole thing, but you just have to write down the numbers I'm telling you. Okay. So Jack's scores in five rounds are like this. So first, in the first round of the quiz, he gets 25, 25 points. Okay. In the second round of the quiz, he ends up with negative five marks. Okay. In the third round, he ends up with negative 10. In the fourth round, 15 marks. And in the fifth and final round, he gets 10 marks. So in the end, what are his final marks? <clears throat> hmm. How will we go about in this? Did you understand the question? Yeah. Yeah. So what are his... First, uh, uh, do we have to add all the positive marks? Yeah, that's one way you can do this. Very good. Good, Hiba. I like the way you're thinking. Okay, so first we're going to add all the positive marks so that... Let's say that's this, 25, 15, and 10. So what does that become? A 50. Okay, yeah, it becomes 50. Okay, so the positive thing becomes 50. And how much is the negative one? Minus 5 and minus 10. Hmm. Then that minus, is minus minus five plus ten. Minus five and minus ten. Okay. So when you add both of them, negative five and negative ten. How much how many marks does he have? Like if he has negative five marks in second round and negative ten marks in third round. So what are his negative marks? Fifteen. Sorry? Fifteen. Yeah, 15. Okay, my volume automatically just reduced somehow. Just give me a sec. Okay. So it's negative 15. 
now can you tell me uh, what are the total marks that he has gotten Uh, why are we subtracting 50 and 15 because his positive okay think about it Hiba. he has gotten he has gotten some positive marks and some negative marks okay so if you have to calculate his total marks what will you do out Subtract. of the information that you have yeah you will basically you will add all the marks that he has gotten Right? That's how you calculate your total marks? Yeah. You add all of the marks. But what you are doing here is that over here, you are adding negative marks as well because in those rounds, he ended up getting negative marks. Okay, his total marks in those rounds were negative. So that's why you are having to add negative marks. You're not subtracting something positive. You are adding something negative. Are you getting it? Yeah. You are adding negative 15. That's how it is looking like subtraction. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Okay. The answer is positive 35. Yeah, very good. Positive 35. Okay. So, Hiba, you know, um, this is this was very a nice way of thinking about it. But what you can also do you know, this is like a shortcut kind of a thing. So just take a look at this, okay. Um, Hiba, now what if you were to take, can you see this? Um, okay, what we can do over here is you can take these two. Okay, first add the negative. So it, how much does it become? As you said, it is minus 15. Yeah. Yeah. So now my total marks become this. My, so uh, over here, it's 25, 15, 10, and this thing. Okay. Minus 15. So that is 25, 15, 10, and minus 15. So Hiba, can you tell me what is 15 minus 15? Yes. What is 15 minus 15? Zero. Yeah. So this is zero. So can I say that over here from this list, I am taking 15 and minus 15. And when I add them, it becomes zero. Can I say that? Yes, Hiba? No. I can't. Why? Because when you add add 15 and 15, you're going to get 30. No, no, no. You're not adding 15 and 15. You are adding 15 and minus 15. Just now you told me that 15 and minus 15. Together, what do they give me? Zero. Zero. Over here, I have 15. Over here, I, I have minus 15. What will they give me together? They will give you zero. They will give you zero. So in place of this, can I replace this and this both by writing zero? Because it's nothing but 15 minus 15. So in the end, what you can write this as, you can write this as 25 plus 10 plus 15 minus 15. Why? Because this is 15. This is minus 15, right? This is 15. And this is minus 15. That's what I have done. Okay. So in place of this, what you can write 25. This is equal to 25 plus 10 plus 15 minus 15 gives me zero. So that's 25 plus 10 plus zero, which is 25 plus 10. And what is 25 plus 10? Yeah. 
कितने बाद या इट इज थर्टी फाइव वेरी गुड सो यू सी in this method also the method that we took we first added all the positives and then we added all the negatives and then we added both can of them I, together can i ask something yeah sure uh, so uh, you wrote 25 plus 10 plus 15 minus 15 but hmm. uh, instead of 15 minus 15 uh, why did you write uh, 15 plus minus 15 no no 15 oh. minus minus 15 because we're not subtracting anything from this okay they are marks all of these they are marks 25 is marks of first round 15 are the marks of second round okay i'm sorry they're not the marks so, of second round so this so is 25 instead, hmm. instead of subtracting why i need to adding 15 and uh, uh, minus 15 that's what we are doing we are adding see i am Ah, uh, what I'm doing here. Let's just show. Let me just show it to you once again. What I'm doing here is I am adding all of them. Twenty-five plus. Okay, keep 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 track of what I'm saying. Okay, twenty-five here, twenty-five. Okay, plus fifteen, plus fifteen. Plus plus ten, plus ten. Plus minus fifteen. Plus minus fifteen. What is plus minus fifteen? Hiba, what is plus minus fifteen? Minus fifteen. Minus fifteen itself, right? So this thing. Just a sec. This thing is the same as this thing, and what we are doing, we are just adding all of them. We are writing twenty-five plus fifteen plus ten. Plus minus fifteen. Okay, we are adding. We are not subtracting fifteen. That's what I told you when we were when we were doing this. I said we are not subtracting fifteen. Okay, let me just write it down. Okay, I I understood now. You understood. Okay, yeah. we are not subtracting fifteen. What are we doing? Adding. What are we adding? Fifteen. <coughs> Excuse me. So we uh, are adding uh, negative. 15. Minus fifteen. Did you understand now? Yeah. Okay. Right. Hiba, can you just give me five minutes because um it's like Maghrib time at my place, so I will quickly pray and come back. Okay. Till then, I have one question for you. I have one question for you. um so the question is this a plane is flying at the height of 5000 meters above sea level do you remember we were talking about sea level above sea level below sea level sea level in the previous lesson yeah okay at a particular point it is exactly above a submarine and i want you to draw the um diagram also for this okay floating 1200 meters below Twelve hundred meters below sea level. <laughs> What is the vertical distance between them? Okay, so I want you to try this out. Make a diagram the way we made in the previous lesson. and tell me okay so i will be back after my sala so i'll see you in um exactly 5 minutes from now inshallah is that okay yeah yeah
Okay, so done, Hiba? Yeah, but I have a, a doubt. Yeah, sure. So uh, here, the, here they're telling that a, a plane is flying at the height of uh, 500 meter above sea level. 5,000 so, meters. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. 5,000 meters. So here we will write the distance uh, above, sea, above sea level is equal to 5,000 meters. And the distance okay. below sea level is equal to minus 1,200 meter or plus 1,200 meter. I have a confusion right. in that. Good question. See, you will write it like this. Okay, you'll draw the diagram first. This is the plane. This is the submarine. Okay, this is sea level. All right, so the distance between, let's call this zero. This is negative 1200 meters and this is positive 5000 meters. Okay, you will write that. Now, um, if you are to calculate the distance between them, what will you do? Uh, we will add them. Mm, okay. So if you add them, what does it become? Uh, positive 5000 and minus 200. Hmm. Okay, Hiba. So let me just tell you something about calculating distances, okay? Now, the thing is, when we calculate distances, we subtract the positions of the two things. And you might, you might be thinking, well, why? Why are we doing that? See, if you are just to, if you're just going to write 5,000 meters plus, 1200 meters right because this is this distance from here to here okay what is the distance between plane and sea level yes uh, six six thousand two hundred no 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 distance between plane and sea level This is sea level. Sea level is at zero. Yeah. What is this distance? Can you tell me? The red part, how much is it? Four thousand. Mm, see, when we are saying that the plane is flying at a height of 5,000 meters above sea level. So that means the distance between the plane and the sea level is what? Above. What is the distance? How much? Hmm. Okay, let me ask this in another way. See, Hiba. They are saying, just take a look at the question again. A plane is flying and, um, okay, okay, forget that. Forget all that. Just take a look at this example. Let's say you have a building or it's a tower, okay? And that tower is like a, it's like really long. Sorry, it's really tall. Okay. And if, if if the ground or if the um, you know yeah if the ground is let's say we call it it is at zero level and we are saying the the tower or the tower's top this thing this top is at a distance or not distance is at a height of 700 meters above the ground, okay? 
the tower's top is at a height of 100 of 700 meters above the ground then let me just ask you what is the um distance between the top of the tower and the ground can you tell me Seven hundred. Yes, seven hundred meters. So now take a look at the question again, and tell me what is the distance between the plane? What is the distance between the plane and the sea level? Sea level. That means um six six thousand uh six thousand two hundred. Um, the distance between the plane and sea level, not plane and submarine. See here, ba. Look at oh. the diagram, okay? Yeah, look at the diagram. This is my plane, okay? This is my plane. this is my sea level this is from where my sea begins so the whole of this is water okay and then this over here this is my submarine okay so now what i'm asking you is what is the you're right what is the distance between plane and submarine you were right 6200 Okay, six thousand two hundred meters. Now, um, see the answer to this is very simple. Yeah, is it one thousand two to two hundred the distance between plane and sea level? Hmm. Take a look again over here. The plane is at this distance. Okay, and this distance is from here till the sea level. When we are saying it is five thousand meters above sea level. Right. That means the distance between sea level and plane is how much? Five thousand. Five thousand exactly. So the the answer to this is very clear that the distance between the plane and the submarine is six thousand two hundred meters. That's very simple. That we just what we did is we added this distance and we added this distance. Right. but what i want you to um clear what i want you to clear in your mind at this point is that you know the the doubt the doubt that you asked whether we will write 5000 plus 1200 or we will write 5000 minus 1200 so now can you tell me which one we will write and why I think we will write five thousand plus one hundred, uh, one thousand two hundred. But hmm. I don't know why. You don't know why, yeah. So you are thinking right, okay? This is right. You're right about it. You're right about it. But now you might ask, well, this is negative twelve hundred meters. Then why aren't we writing minus? So that's what I was trying to tell you. Is that? whenever we are calculating distances then we subtract one position from the other position what do i mean by that we say this for example i'm sorry um yeah this is my number line or let's say it's not a number line it's something where you and i are both standing okay so i am standing let's say so this is 1 2 3 This is four, five. So Hiba, you are standing over here. Okay, you are standing at number five. What is your distance from the origin? Oh, the zero is called origin. Okay, what is your distance from the origin? Five. Uh, uh, five yes. 
five. Yes, five so, units. Okay, five. Units. Your your distance from the origin is five units. Now let's say I am standing at this position. That's me. I'm standing over there. What is my distance from the uh, from zero from the origin? At three units. See again. Look look at the uh, two origin. units. Yes, my distance. So my distance from the origin is two units. Okay. Let's call it meters. You know the units is very confusing. Okay. Let's call it two meters. And you are at five meters from. Zero from the origin, or let's say this is the starting point. So, what is the distance between you and me? Hmm. Three meters. Three meters. How did we find that out? What did we do? Uh, uh from two, I move uh three units to five. Very good. Exactly. Okay, so one more way. So the the way that you are saying it, that from two you are moving three units. That's how you know that it was three meters. Okay, but let's say let's say I am not moving and you are also not allowed to move. Okay, we all know that. Or let's say, let's say Hiba, we live. Um, let's say okay, we are we are living in you know some place in India. Okay. And I am saying that let's say this zero is over here zero. That's the capital of India, which is Delhi. Okay, so this zero is basically Delhi. And I am saying that you know, Hiba, I live, I live two, um, let's say I live two hundred kilometers from Delhi, and you are saying, oh, I live five hundred kilometers from Delhi. And the thing is, we live along the same line. Okay, so if like this is. um a straight line or a train that goes from delhi to you know it goes further like that so we were not allowed to move that's my house it's 200 km 200 kilometers and your house is 500 kilometers and we're not allowed to move so can you tell me then how will we find out the distance hmm Uh, we will add two hundred and five hundred. We will add them. Then what will it become? If we add two hundred and five hundred, add seven hundred. Seven hundred. Okay. But what is the distance like this? You you told me right. You looked at this and you told me that I will have to move three meters. So then my answer is should be three hundred. Why is it seven hundred? Why would why will you add them? See, uh, okay, Hiba. We will uh, we will subtract two two uh, hundred and five hundred. Okay, see, Hiba. Um, what you did here that was absolutely right. What you did here, you said I am standing at this position. I am going. I am going to go all the way till Hiba. Okay. i am standing in this position i am going to move all the way till heba what i am doing when i am moving is basically i am seeing okay so the distance um that heba is at from the center or from the origin from the starting point heba is at 5 meters from the starting point and i am 2 meters from the starting point so the remaining distance okay listen to this carefully the remaining distance between me and heba is this much right yes heba yeah yeah the orange part so now can you tell me that how can i uh, how can i achieve this orange part or how can how do i know how much its value is of uh, sub subtract 500 yeah. and yes 
so what what am i going to do i am going to say well this um this pink part this pink part is made by combining the blue part and the orange part okay so basically what i can do is i can say that the blue part plus the orange part okay let me just add a plus sign over here blue part plus the orange part gives me the pink part right yeah yeah so if you want to achieve the blue part what you will do you will say that basically what that means is that the orange part is equal to the pink part minus the blue part right okay yeah. take a look at this thing again that the orange part what is it it is basically the pink part minus the blue part you are taking blue away part. the blue part from the orange part so that gives you the i'm sorry you taking away the blue part from the pink part and that gives you the orange part is that clear yes yes so hiba so once more if um okay if the distance between this and this okay if let let's say this is 1000 kilometers and from here this is let's say zero this is let's say b that's o and that's a so we will just wrap up very soon okay and from a to b the distance from a to b is 750 kilometers then can you tell me what is the distance between o to a hiba Let's not call it as fifty. Let me just just a second here, but let me just um, make it easier. Yeah, seven hundred kilometers. Now, can you tell me? Is that one thousand and seven hundred? Yeah, yeah. Then, what does this become? The distance between O to A. Uh, after subtracting, we will get three hundred. Yeah. So, the, so the you distance. See? From yeah. O to O to A is three hundred. Yeah. So basically, this much is three hundred, and the remaining part, this much is seven hundred, and three hundred plus seven hundred is giving me one thousand. So that's how mm -hmm. I am getting this. Okay. So uh, we will discuss more about distances and why uh, we did what we did in the next lesson, inshallah. So till then, I'll see you. Okay. Okay. Allah bless you, Amnit Kam. Have a good day. Have a good day. Okay, so um, good evening, Samyulla. Can you hear me? Can you hear me?